down to Wells Fargo Arena and today quarterfinal action wrapping up here for the girls state basketball tournament. Let's waste no time and get right to all the action. Xyra EHK, the epitome of a short bench with just eight players on the roster, taking on MMCRU. The Spartans up big at half, but the Royals come back with the three from Emily Dreckman. She had a team high 20, but Xyra living off the three ball. Macy Emgarten honed in. She had three triples in this game and finished with 10 points. The Royals kept pushing back in transition. They can't get the lane to go, but Cora Alish is there for the board and put back lead down to five. And it's Dreckman again from long distance. You can count that three as well. Royals would actually come back and take a short-lived lead, but Emgarten again dials it up at a key moment, splashing the twine for a triple. And Quinn Grubbs went to work driving down the lane, lays it up and in for two more of her game high 25. Then Exira is able to salt it away at the charity stripe. The small but mighty eight Spartans advance to the semifinals with a 60 to 55 win. Yeah, it takes a lot of heart with what the girls do. Um, you know, the good thing is you only need five. You know, if we were playing softball or baseball, we'd probably be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, but you know, with what they do in practice, guys, it's second to none. I just, I, I can't say enough. You know, I walked through the back of the hallway uh, and, I, and I got choked up because somehow these girls continue to find ways to get it done. It's us eight for most sports, so we just play with each other year round and it really just helps build a bond between us. Yeah, um, even though we have less, the bond is just that much better between us and we just know that everybody's going to have each other's back no matter what the circumstances. Then Newell Fonda, the defending 1A champion, taking on Kingsley Pierce and the Mustangs dominated start to finish the skip pass to Macy Seavers. She slices her way to the rack, lays it in. They kept the pedal to the floor. Mary Walker, three ball corner pocket. And the onslaught just continues. The fast break now for the Mustangs. Maggie Walker pulls up for three off the mark, but Ella Larson gets the put back to go before the horn sounds to end the half. Newell Fonda was up 30 plus at the break. They cruise to an 88 47 win. I mean, it just feels like our normal thing. Like we come out and we play hard and we just want to get be on top at the end of the game. We're going to find out who we play and, uh, you know, we'll do a little bit of game prepping for them. And, uh, you know, again, like we just talked about in the locker room, you guys earn the right to play another game down here. And anytime you earn an uh, opportunity to play again, uh, it's a special feeling. And the final game of the night, Montezuma taking on St. Ansgar, a rematch from last year's quarterfinal. Saints beat the Braves in that one. Tonight, Montezuma looking for some revenge. Elise Bolton right as the horn sounds to end the first quarter. Gets the jumper to go, not the last one for her. Then it's Shanae Wettering from downtown, finds the bottom of the bucket for three. But the Saints seem to just hang around in this one. Hallie Anderson ends up with a rebound, gets the short J to fall through. Six point game, Montezuma's way. Back come the Braves, it's Bolton driving the lane again, gets it to go off the window. Montezuma let it half. Third quarter though, Saints come to life. Taylor Hanna pots one of the handful of St. Ansgar threes. Saints led by two after three. In the fourth, Bolton would take over using the screen, drives down Broadway, gets the teardrop to trickle in. Montezuma fans feeling an upset. Then the dagger. Guess who? Bolton. Again, a little hezzy. Then another tear drop. She had 29 tonight. Montezuma pulls off the win. They'll advance to face Newell Fonda after the 50 to 45 victory. Last season was really tough for us, um, ending and losing six great seniors. So it really stung last year a lot. So I think um, we had a lot of girls coming back from that team, and we just don't want to be done playing with each other. Competitively, I think we've got a little bit different grit than perhaps what we've had in the past. Um, but our leadership is really the most special I've ever seen in the sense of just how they all know their roles, they play them to a T, and they love each other more than ever. The girls state tournament rolls on tomorrow with class 5A semifinals getting us started at 10 a.m. We'll get you all the action once again right here on Local 5. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.